We like to move it. 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 Do 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 de do 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 de do de do. And welcome to the lockdown show. Lockdown show. You are watching the lockdown show. Ooh, lockdown show. What are we going to talk about today? This is Thumper. And this is Tigger. Say hello to Thumper and Tigger. What are we going to talk about today? Something which came into my mind yesterday. Exercise bike is back out. I've done half an hour. I've done eight kilometres. And I'm knackered. Anyhow. Something which came into my mind yesterday. Do you know that group of people that, well, they're a bit of a pain in the ass, but they haven't been seen for a while. They've become a rare species. It's called the EU. Since this bug, since this bug has been kicking about, have we heard anything from this group of people, this all-powerful, all-encompassing group of people who we must obey, called the EU's been? They haven't said a word. Not one Jord Clon Dunker Funker, whatever his friggin' name is, word. They've crawled under the rock. This group of people who bleed each country dry. Individual country, not the EU. Well, yes, the EU, but the individual countries dry. Such as Germany and France and Spain. Not us anymore. Who have destroyed Greece, who have destroyed Cyprus, who have destroyed Italy. Nothing. How very interesting. But here we are, a week after lockdown. Started a week ago. And it was all exciting, wasn't it? It was all, ooh, wonder what we can do. So we tidied out one room, then we did another, then we did another, and then we did another. But there was no others left, and everything went to the tip, and the house was nice and clean. Then we panicked about food. Well, food was delivered by my brother on Sunday night, and I've now got enough food to last until 2021, which is great. But I'm beginning to wonder about this lockdown thing. Where I live is a little village. I wonder if I could just walk around as long as I don't come into contact with anybody. But it's the scaremongering, isn't it? And it's true. People are dying. People are becoming infected. The young are dying. It's no longer just a wrinkly disease that's going to kill you. People, I saw on Facebook just a little while ago, a 26-year-old young lady succumbed to the disease. That's, for the families, that's just bloody horrendous. If my boy was to die, I, he's just turned 22, I'd, I'd, I, my life would be shattered. So this bug is, is, it's shattering people's lives. So you've got to take notice of the damn thing. And I know people are now. There's photographs of the motorways and, and side roads and the police and everything showing photographs of the country empty, apart from wagons. And that brings another point. Wagon drivers. I've driven wagons in my time, mostly tarmac tipping God, but more recently uh, a fridge unit taking products to places and tipping it off in an articulated uh, class one big boy truck. And I love it. I absolutely bloody love it. But prior to this, the money that truck drivers were being paid, um, I was on one time £13 an hour. Another opportunity, I was on £150 a day for about six hours work, which was bloody good money. But most of them were on around about £10 an hour. All of a sudden, it's being offered at 14 and 15 I've even seen £18 an hour with a minimum of eight hours. So it can be paid. The bloody agencies are to blame. They're ripping the people off, putting us into a wagon and then taking the cream. I think it's about time agencies got told to sod off 
And the companies came back and said, look, you know, we'll pay you this. It might only be for a month. It might only be for two months. But that's it. And if you don't like it, don't bloody take it. Another post that I saw recently was somebody being for two days training and said, I wonder if I'm going to get paid for the two days training. I didn't like the company, so I didn't start. If you'd walk away, you shouldn't get paid. I've been to many opportunities and said, look, let me have a little look. Let me come for a couple of days. Let me see if I like it. Rather than wasting your time, I'm going to do it on my time, at my expense. Because it's important that I feel happy with where I'm going. Not you feeling happy with me. I want to feel happy where you are. So anyhow, the, the wagon drivers, it's about time that the company started to look at paying them decent wages. Therefore, you get decent people. People will stay in the roles. And the whole industry will become better for everybody. But anyhow, back to the bug. After a week, it's now starting to become a little bit boring, shall we say. The load of food in my kitchen, I'm thinking, hmm, I wonder what I can eat now. Whereas before all the food arrived, I would have one thing then and you know, at lunch and then at, at evening meal. Uh, whereas now I'm looking, hmm, mid-meal snacks. But you've got to resist the temptation, haven't you? And... One of the other aspects which has bothered me as well is seeing all this fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. I've said fruit again. <laughs> all this fresh food has uh, been thrown out. Cook the bloody stuff for God's sake and then put it in the fridge. It'll last for another two or three days. Are people really that bloody thick? The other aspect is snowflake world has all of a sudden disappeared, hasn't it? Celebrities. Really, who are they? Who are the celebrities? Oh, look, I've ridden around the world. Aren't I amazing? Please read my book. Well, some books I've read, and I've got to say, they are bloody good. But a lot of it is to do with our own ego. Look what I've done. And that's what's been over the last couple of years. Before social media came into being, we never heard of these people. You would see the book on the shelf. You would read the back of the book on maybe a page and go, oh, that's interesting. I'll have that. Whereas now it's please, please, please. And I'm to blame with that as well. That celebrities all of a sudden are being seen as dickheads. Oh, I'm a celebrity. Look what I'm doing. Oh, look at my pose. Oh, fuck off. You're just a human being. You drink the same water as me. When you're asleep, you have dreams. And if you've got toilet paper, you wipe your ass. You're no different to me, except I don't wipe my ass. <laughs> Having a bag on me belly. But it's very true, isn't it? All of a sudden, celebrities have gone. That You don't need to follow these bloody people. You don't need to have these people in your lives. You don't need to be, oh, look at me, I'm better than you. Because all of a sudden, we're all the same. We're all shitting ourselves because of this bug. We're all worried about dying. And the celebrity is no different. They can die just as easily as anybody else. It's made me think quite a bit, actually. Because I became narcissistic, I think's the word. I ride a motorbike. I make films. Aren't I wonderful? You've got to follow me. Please watch my film. Please buy my book. And then I got depressed because people didn't watch my film as much as I thought they would. And now it doesn't, it doesn't matter, does it? Do you know what really matters in this world? Smiling. Being happy what you're doing. Take away the stress of a business. Take away the stress of trying to impress people. Take away the stress of photographing. Oh, look what I'm having for lunch. I couldn't give a fat rat's ass what you're having for lunch. Because I can't eat it and I can't smell it and I can't touch it. And I don't want to see a photograph of it either. Interesting times. Very interesting times for me, what I've realised over the last month. Oh, I'm going to write a book. I could. I, I don't really want to write a book, but I wanted to write a book to say, this is me, this is my story, this is my life. Nobody gives a fat rat's ass about that, man. But what they do care about is smiling, is seeing somebody smile, is being happy, is being with family. All right, I live on my own, but a lot of you have got family. That's all that matters, as well as your health. Isn't it? Doesn't matter how much is in your bank. Doesn't matter what house you live in. 
Doesn't matter what car you drive or bike you have or how many bikes you have within the year, <coughs> Joe. It doesn't. All that matters is you're happy. I'm happy riding a bike. I love making my films. And I'm going to go back to what it was when I first started. I did my films because I wanted to. Not because I wanted to impress people. Because I wanted to impress me. And that's all you've got to worry about. Is you. When the chips are down. It's only you that matters. Your immediate family. Your sons, your daughters, your brothers, your sisters, your husbands, your wives, your girlfriends. Your bloody... The affairs that you have that make you feel great for 30 seconds. And that just sucks having affairs, but that's a whole other story altogether. If you run a small business, these are the risks you take. You can't stand there and go, woe is me. You took the choice. You signed the paperwork. You took the loan. You took the risk. You will also take the rewards should it work out well. And it's a terrible place to be when it's going wrong. And it's the most euphoric place to be when it's going right. I've often thought and said as well, that driving a truck, well, my life is over. But I bloody enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. But I also enjoy riding my motorbike. There's nothing else in the world that I want to do is ride a motorbike and make films. But I also like driving trucks. So what's wrong with that? So after a week, things have changed. The world will be cleaning itself because we've seen photographs of Less pollution, that's got to be a good thing. And it makes me think, it makes me think that perhaps this might help us turn a corner. Instead of going to these multi-supermarkets to buy absolutely everything, go to your corner shop. Grow your own. Find an old Wellington, Wellington? <laughs> Find an old boot and put some muck in it and stick a, a strawberry plant in it. Why not? Anyhow. That's enough from me for now. This is day seven, and you've just been watching The Lockdown Show. Lockdown Show. Ooh. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.